Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I solve the problem of not being able to subdivide your products in your Google Shopping campaigns in Google Ads. So this is a common problem that I've had, so I'm sure that many of you are dealing with this as well. I finally took the time to find a good solution for myself, and I think you're gonna find it helpful. So let me show you first the problem. So this would be like in a Google shopping campaign in a Merchant Center account where you have a lot of products. This account has, you know, a thousand products. So if you were to go into a shopping campaign, you click on product groups, you're probably gonna see like all products here and you can see there's about a thousand products. So then the question is how do we divide these products into these different campaigns? So this example is like a, a phone case seller. So you can see we have like Galaxy, Galaxy S22, S23, iPad, iPhone. So those are the different divisions we're trying to create so we can create campaigns for these different you know, types of phone cases for different product types. So if we were to look in the products and uh, you'd click edit subdivision first to get into like that edit page where you subdivide. Problem I've always had is and this depends on your client's website or your website and how it is organized and then how it's passing information to Google Merchant Center because that's ultimately what we see here. Usually this category tab is not helpful because you can see like pretty much everything is in electronics. I'm not sure why there's pet supplies, um, but this doesn't really help me subdivide. Brand is not suit, maybe a little bit more helpful, but still see I got like a bunch of Apple Watch. So I'd have to click all these if I wanted Galaxy. I'd have to click them all. Um, so this one's a little bit better, but not quite what I want. Item ID is basically, you know, the, the title, I believe. So that's not really helpful. Condition is not gonna be helpful. Product type. This is too many of those, but that might be helpful for some of you in some circumstances. So if you're able to subdivide using these default or whatever you see here, that's great. It just seems like most of the time it doesn't work for me channel that one doesn't work and then we have channel exclusivity which isn't going to work and then custom labels um, so custom labels are actually what i'm going to use here in custom label three you see i've been able to basically divide them by these higher level categories like iphone 14 or galaxy s23 so that's what we're going to do i'm going to show you how to do that in merchant center so you have to go into your merchant center account here's the thousand products here's some of the data like here's the item id you can see the custom labels here that I've been able to add. I'm gonna create a rule in this feed so that if certain words are found in the title, we're gonna give it a custom label. So if iPhone is in it or iPhone 14, we're gonna give it that label. Here you see there's iPhone tabs, if Apple Watch is in the title, I'm gonna have it say Apple Watch here. And then these custom labels get passed to Google Ads, as you saw in my custom label three. And that's how I've been able to, you know, subdivide these different campaigns. And then the result would be, you know, you create the subdivision, I select iPhone, turn on that those products in this campaign or product group, and then turn off everything else. So to do this, you're gonna go into your feed. So if I click on feeds and then click my actual feed that I'm using with a thousand products, then you have to click on the feed rules tab, which is right here. Here's the rules I've created. You might not need this many. It just depends on how many different categories you're trying to create. There's different rules available, so you can read more about these. Like I'm actually using it to add colors to some products where colors don't exist. So this can help fix some errors that you're having, you know, in Merchant Center with some products, but that might be another video for another time. You're gonna click create rule. And like, if you wanna use custom label, you just select the one you wanna use. I'm using three. If I were to select that, it's actually going to take me into the, the rule that I've already created. And then you click add source to create these, you know, these different rules here. So like if I was to create a new one, like I just did a few weeks ago for Galaxy S23, I click add source and then it pops up new one right here. I'm going to create a condition. You know, basically what I'm doing is saying if the title, so I'm going to select title here by typing title and then just click on it. It's basically saying if the title contains and I could just type a value here, Galaxy S23. And obviously this text has to exist in the title that is given to the product. If you don't have something distinguishable in the title, this is gonna be hard to do. But in most cases, you're probably gonna be able to you know, accomplish what you need. So if it contains Galaxy S23, and you could do different like and or statements here, but I'm basically gonna tell it to set custom label three to you know, some value. In my case, I'm just, you know, saying Galaxy S23. 
just anything that I can recognize. I'm going to cancel that one because I already did it above, but you can see a bunch of them here and we'll show you the Galaxy one is right here. And in my case, I had to order them a certain way logically because like there's different, if not, if it doesn't get assigned one of the Galaxy, you know, S22, S23, then it just gets assigned Galaxy. So anyway, there might be some logic to the way you order these. But when you're all done, you click save as draft. And then you're going to click apply. I'm not going to do it because I didn't, I don't think I've made any changes. I'm going to discard my changes. You can also test changes, but usually I would then go to back to the feed. It might take a few minutes, but you'll see the custom label show up in your custom label column. There's one other way to check it too that I should have shown you. So when you're in the rule, you can actually click this little arrow up here to scroll through products one at a time. And you just, you can see the custom label that's being assigned right here. And that, that might be a quick check to make sure things are working. It's a little tedious because you gotta like, just click one at a time. Like Galaxy is working there iPhone. So I sometimes click through several of these just to make sure things are working. You can also search by item ID, like type in iPhone, but I some I had issues. It doesn't work basically. And so I can't use that. So then once your feed is processed, again, you'll see in your products list, you'll start to see the label showing. In my experience, it takes some time for it to get from Google Merchant Center to Google Ads. So I usually give it 12 to 24 hours and then I check back. And then if you click on the edit subdivision, after 24 hours, for sure, you should start seeing your custom label three. So then again, I would you know select the one I want and click save without editing bids. And then it takes me into here and I, you know, you can edit bids or whatever you want to do, but basically I'm enabling that subdivision and turning off everything else. So that's it. Pretty simple tip, but pretty powerful, especially if you have thousands of products, you know, you're not going to be able to select them. This kind of does everything with a feed rule and automates the process for you. Let me know if you have any questions about that. Make sure to subscribe and check out some of my other videos on Google ads. Yeah. Comment below. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see or what questions you have. And maybe I'll address that on the next video.